In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Dear brothers and sisters, today we celebrate the feast of St. Luke, the evangelist. Luke was probably born of a pagan family at Antioch, and he converted to Christianity. Historically, we are not sure whether he converted before Jesus' ascension, so that to meet Jesus in person, or after Jesus' ascension with the first Christian community of Jesus' disciples. After his conversion, he became a companion of St. Paul, the Apostle, and accompanied him in his several journeys for evangelizing the world. And St. Paul called St. Luke, my most dear physician. So we know that he was a physician. And also, according to tradition, he had a very special talent in uh, uh, painting. And for that reason, he is the patron of all iconographers, those painting icons. St. Paul also calls him my fellow laborer. St. Luke was very faithful to St. Paul. After his conversion, he began to follow him, to assist him during his journeys as a doctor, but also as a secretary, because St. Luke was hearing the preaching of St. Paul. And from that uh, hearing, he wrote the gospel of Jesus and the Acts of the Apostles. This is the way he came to know historically the truth about Christ, beside the fact that, as he says in the prologue of his gospel, he wanted to make a very accurate historical research in order to give an account, a faithful account of the life and the works, the miracles of Jesus of Nazareth. His first source of information was Paul, the apostle, and then all other people who were able to witness to Jesus' life, Jesus' preaching, Jesus' miracles. And of course, among these people, he consulted to know precisely what happened. There is, without doubt, a blessed mother. It is in fact impossible to know so precisely what happened at the Annunciation. And all the words with the angel, if Our Lady had not uh, said to him that uh, that event had not reported to St. Luke, that miraculous event. This is important for us today to receive the faith in Jesus Christ. The work of St. Luke as an evangelist is very important for us to believe in Christ, in the real Christ, in the historical Christ. Our faith is historical and supernatural, of course, but historical. What the Gospel says is what really took place in the life of our Lord. The data of the Gospel are real, are true. They are facts. And St. Luke was verifying these facts with uh, living witnesses of these events. Our faith is historical, and only insofar as historical can be supernatural. An act of as, uh, ascension to the mystery, supernatural mystery, which has an historical foundation, which was revealed in a precise space and time. This is the foundation of our faith. The reason supporting our faith. Reason and faith, history and 
supernatural faith go always together. St. Paul uh, had in St. Luke a very faithful servant because among the community of the disciples of St. Paul, he was only St. Luke who faithfully followed him uh, up to his final moment of his life in Rome, where St. Paul was martyred, 67 after Christ. And among the disciples, we find St. Paul, uh, St. Luke, who was writing the Acts of the Apostles to describe especially these journeys of Paul the Apostle and to describe his last moments of his life in Rome where St. Paul was martyred. St. Luke is a faithful steward of the Gospel. He teaches us uh, this important truth to believe in our Lord by reading the Holy Gospels, by professing our faith in the Holy Gospels with always this historical foundation. And also he teaches us another important thing, to be witnesses of our Lord, as he was faithfully following Paul, but also telling us that the only way to believe in Christ today, after so many centuries, is to accept the preaching of the Apostles, to accept the witness of the Apostles, that witness to uh, stand for uh, another person, to say what another person said by consulting the sources, the living witnesses, this is the way forward to believe. And this is the Church, the witness of Christ through the Apostles, through the Evangelists. The witness, the relying on the historical witness of Christ is the only possible way we have to know who Jesus is, what his gospel is about. We pray to St. Luke today to profess our faith in the Holy Gospel, to accept the living witness of the Church, which is the uninterrupted preaching of the Church through the living tradition of the Church. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit.